my goodness these meta codec avatars are getting better and better this is a uh, lex friedman who did a podcast with mark zuckerberg so this is a, a scan of himself uh, that they did at uh, probably the meta headquarters and every single time that i see these uh meta codec avatars you can see something getting like some major improvement so this was recorded uh, as a podcast and uh you know lex is talking to it's mark zuckerberg talking about the improvements in uh, the meta codec vet uh, avatars but look at the quality this is not real by the way <laughs> this is a digital like double of lex and you can see him wearing a quest pro in this uh interview that he did and so what's amazing is that so the quest 3 is coming out soon but for some reason they've done away with a lot of uh, the tracking that is present in the pro i think it they improve on the technology but this is what you you will expect from these uh codec avatars look at how realistic that is look at the skin the eyes you know when we're talking about the uncanny valley i think this one has been crossed <laughs> you know and you can see the scan data in the center and off to the left uh, with the legs inside of uh, the headset it's amazing this is incredibly realistic and shows us the future of what we we can expect you know and i can see us you know in the what they're calling the metaverse i think they are um, mark zuckerberg is embracing the metaverse yet again because when they were uh, announcing the quest 3 he mentioned metaverse <laughs> multiple times uh, there was a time when he was uh, it seemed like uh, meta was shying away from the metaverse but i think they are back to embracing it fully and this is what they imagine people embodying themselves so there will be probably like some stylized version of uh, people in there in metaverse but then you have this other uh, side of the spectrum with this realistic super realistic uh, met meta codec avatars and look at that and <laughs> lex was incredulous in terms of uh he couldn't believe that they were actually looking at each other right so when you get a chance guys uh, go and watch the full episode of this podcast it's over an hour long and they say some really interesting things in the podcast uh, mark goes through and explains some of the challenges that they're, they're, they're encountering and how this is actually not expected to be here next year it's like she, he mentioned several years because they have some things that they need to uh, like iron out and one of the things that they, he mentions is that they want to get to the point where legs and arms are added because when you're talking to someone really the things that uh, matter the most are those expressions the eyebrows the eyes you know when you when you're trying to connect with someone i suppose in the metaverse those are the things that matter the most so of course when you have arms and legs and things like that then you open up the, up, up, up the possibility of being able to interact with environments and i think that's where this is awesome so look at this so this is mark zuckerberg's uh, scan in the center on the left is the the codec avatar and uh on the right is the quest pro i really want to try the quest pro i haven't tried it out yet and the number of other products that are coming out that are actually utilizing it its ability to track the mouth of the person who's wearing it and also the hands that is one of the powerful features of uh, the quest pro so i'm hoping that they bring this back in the quest 3 i know somewhere i'd read where the tracking might be different in terms of uh, tracking the whole face but i i can't wait to try out both headsets the quest pro and compare it with the quest uh, 3 and of course we are all looking forward to the apple vision you know pro. <laughs> so but this is incredible to see the fidelity and how things are getting better and better and i for me i am already whenever i see this i'm thinking okay how can this eventually get to the unreal engine how can we use this to tell stories to create characters digital doubles of ourselves and uh, maybe people can hire my digital double you know and you can reuse it you don't have to feed the digital double <laughs> you can put him in an environment and be, being able to use the headset to drive because the quest pro is tracking the lip movement for example here over mark zuckerberg and then using the scanned head to be able to create this digital experience of mark talking to lex here and that's what's amazing what an amazing time to be alive right 
this is so cool. <laughs> so when we watch Star Wars and we look at these, uh, you know, characters showing up, like beaming in from another planet, uh, we're getting closer and closer to where science fiction becomes science fact. So I just wanted to share it with you. And I'm going to put the link of the podcast in the description of this video so you can take a look for yourselves. But what an amazing time to be alive. Look at that. Look at how realistic this looks, guys. Amazing. <laughs> Thank you so much for joining me today, guys. And I hope that you're doing well. I'm always praying for you. May we never give up on our dreams. Continue to dream big. And may we continue to take advantage of uh, these technologies so that we can use them to tell our stories. And uh, again, you know, the metaverse is, seems to be re-embraced. Uh, let's see where it takes us and where we can create uh, our stories, build out our stories and uh, em embrace, you know, the, the new technologies as they're coming along to better illustrate what we have in mind as low visions. Um, please stay safe as always. Dare to dream big if you're new to my channel. I kindly ask that you spare a minute to subscribe and hit the notification bell so you're alerted when I post a new video. And thank you so much to all my patrons, guys. I appreciate your support. Thank you for helping me to get to 25,000 subscribers. Let's get to 50,000. Thank you so much, guys. Bye for now.